Hey guys, back again, just check in. Yep, that's recording right again. One of the huge advancements in uh, technology for uh, bikes is airbags. Again, I was quite surprised that uh, you know this sort of thing was now available. And there's a number of uh, things on the market, a number of products on the market. You can buy jackets with built-in airbags or like this Helite, this is a vest that you wear over your riding jacket. So of course you can wear it with absolutely anything. Uh, and that's the main reason I went for this is because I can wear it over the leather jacket or I've also got to climb a two-piece suit and I can wear it over that as well. And uh, basically how it works is you have a tether I'll just unclick it here. You have a tether which is attached to the frame just under the seat usually so you can route this up and underneath your leg. Um, so the idea is that if you go off the back or over the front this stays in place and you, it's pulled and it pulls out. There is a, I don't know whether you can see this uh, correctly I'm trying to look at the phone to see because the screen's gone off on the uh, camera but there is a co2 cylinder in here uh, I think it was a 60 gram version I can't see it it's around the side and there is a valve here and once that is pulled really hard the cylinder releases the co2 into the bladder that is all around this with the intention of giving you a lot of protection. Now there is a absolutely solid back protector that runs up this and it inflates all the way up here. One of the I think the most common injuries is to your neck if you fall off because the neck's not supported and you've got the weight of the helmet plus the forces of the speed you're doing, your neck can be, uh, your head can be thrown around quite a bit. When this goes off, it comes up very hard and tight to your helmet, so it's virtually impossible to move your head. It's rather like a neck brace that you see ambulance uh, people fit into accident victims. Holds your head very, very still and, and tightly so, uh, so you can't move it backwards and forwards and left and right whilst you're in the, the accident situation. Uh, and just like car airbags, this will start to go down uh, fairly quickly. I think 10-15 seconds after it's been deployed, it will start to let the, the air out. Uh, obviously, this is a replaceable cylinder. There's instructions on how to replace it. And I got one free of charge for when I bought this. And yeah, as I said, it is a 60cc. It's marked in there. The extra large version, I think, is 100. 90 cc. No, it's 100. I'm sure it was 100. So I think that is a must have piece of gear. Fully adjustable, obviously, and it must fit correctly. The bit here, which I'm looking at, you can see here, the lower part must be down, you know, over your backside almost, so it gives you proper hip and pelvis uh, protection. I don't think I can show you this protecting. Yeah, it's it's built in here. I don't know whether you can see it. It is removable. It's not the easiest thing to take out. But that is very, very hard. I assume it's category, what's the highest? Category 2 protection. And, uh, yeah, as I say, fully adjustable on the clips here. It must not be a super tight fit. The idea is that it is tight enough that you should be able to get your uh, fist anywhere underneath it, between your body and or your, whatever you're wearing and the vest, just the fist space. Um, otherwise it can't, if it's too tight, obviously it can't deploy correctly. Uh, again, not, not, uh, not cheap. Uh, this was 499 or 399. It's four or five hundred pounds, so it's a major investment. But I think, uh, well, it's not something I would do without. I think if it's if it's available, um, 
and I've seen it in use in a slow speed accident on YouTube. A guy fell off his bike, went too fast around the corner, slid off, uh, went into the side of the road, a small ditch and some rocks and things and just uh, got up and uh, it definitely did its job. The back protection is, uh, is significant and the head protection also when this deploys uh, appears to be very, very good. Uh, okay, high vis is not everybody's cup of tea, but they do do it in other colours. I think a black one and the high vis, and possibly there might have been a green one. But get onto the Helite uh, website and uh, have a look. Uh, very pleased with their customer service. I actually rang them, uh, rang them because uh, I wasn't entirely sure of the correct size because a couple of the sizes seem to cover uh, my chest size. Uh, they were very, very helpful. One of their sales uh, managers uh, rang me back and they also do a try before you buy scheme. They will send out one of their sales guys uh, to you and you can be fitted for the vest and uh, they'll sell you the correct size whilst he's there. Unfortunately I needed it quickly and uh, he was off I think for a, a week's holiday so I uh, left it to his judgement on correct size which they posted through took two days to arrive um, but uh, he was right and this is the perfect perfect size uh, high vis definitely for me on a very very dark bike makes, uh, makes sense and hopefully we'll never have to use it but if we do you know, it's there the idea with the strap is that there's enough uh, movement on it so you could get off the bike if you made a mistake and forgot you were wearing it you could actually get off and uh, the force applied to this will not release uh, the uh, the valve. Uh, I can't remember the, the amount, I think it's something like 35 kilos was required to, uh, to activate this and you're not going to do that if you accidentally step off the bike and just give it a little, a little tug. Uh, it's going to take a lot more force than that. So that'll be the next thing, we'll go and find somewhere suitable on the Ducati for uh, this to fit and uh, that'll be ready to go on every right. So uh, yeah, do check them out, Hellite, uh, just type that into Google and have a look at the products. There's others available but uh, after my research I uh, thought this was the best and you can use it with whatever jackets you've got. made no sense to buy a jacket with airbags built in because you're going to have to get every jacket with that built in, whereas this, yeah, just wear it with anything, leathers, waterproofs, anything you've got. Catch you later.